being able to monitor a camera's video feed on an external screen while also having full control of the camera settings with the same device is still rather uncommon. Portkeys was the first brand to fully make use of this with the BM7 2DS and now also offers a more affordable version. The LH7P is an HDMI monitor and has a 7-inch screen with a 1080p resolution and a maximum brightness of 1000 nits. Wireless control of camera settings such as recording, color temperature, focus, zoom and ISO are supported with a variety of camera models from Sony, Blackmagic Design and others. The MoffNorm operating system can mainly be controlled via touchscreen, which is very responsive. Additionally, the device features four custom preset buttons on the top left side. The menu overview is displayed on the bottom of the screen, while specific tools or settings can be accessed in the submenus. To toggle the menu overlay on and off, the screen simply needs to be touched above the settings. There is also a dedicated switch to turn off the touchscreen, which can be useful in some situations. The device features one HDMI input and one HDMI output, a 3.5mm headphone jack, plus a USB-A port to update firmware or upload LUTs. It's possible to either power the unit via DC input or to use an NFP type battery. Switching to camera control only requires a tap onto the camera icon in the main menu. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are the two standard connections for most camera models. In our tests we use the Sony A7S 3 which can be easily connected via Wi-Fi. The remote control options include trigger recording, single autofocus, aperture, white balance and more depending on the camera model. Most settings can be adjusted with a slider or by tapping onto the arrows to increase or decrease a value. This works smoothly just with a minor delay. It's even possible to manually adjust focus which only works in steps but can be practical when not having direct access to the lens. Although wireless video transmission would be a great addition to this device, the LH7P still requires a physical HDMI connection. Unlike the BM7 2DS, the LH7P does not offer wired control via USB or LAN for certain camera models. The monitor features all standard video assist tools, including an updated focus peaking, which can select a specific area of the frame. This is ideal to mask out menu items from the camera itself and avoid a color peaking overlay. False color can be customized in a dedicated user profile simply by dragging a slider to the left or right side and can also be switched to every false color. Worth mentioning is also the custom rectangle crop feature, which can be freely positioned across the frame. The brightness of 1000 nits is bright enough for most outdoor shoots and can be quickly adjusted in the main menu. When setting the brightness level to the maximum, the device will get warm after a while, even indoors, but not uncomfortable to hold. Even though the fan cannot be adjusted manually, the noise usually isn't too loud or distracting. Build quality wise, the LH7P leaves a good impression, especially when considering the price. The housing is made from polycarbonate and ABS, which results in a rather durable but lightweight exterior. On the left and right side of the unit is a quarter inch screw hole each, as well as on the bottom to either use a tripod or magic arm to mount the device. All things considered, the Portkey's LH7P is a strong contender in the affordable monitor market with the advantage of being able to control cameras wirelessly. The assist tools are well implemented, which is important when using an operating system on a daily basis, both in a studio as well as on location.